the United States is again showing off its military power. Recently, the United States Navy has begun a series of tests of its newest and most advanced aircraft carrier with an explosion at sea. The great explosion in the ocean was done to determine whether the newest aircraft carrier was ready for war. The Brown Water Navy's strength generally consists of patrol boats with defensive weaponry such as cannons for basic tasks such as coastal operations and protection of economic activities in the waters. Later, in its development, the patrol boats were equipped with anti-surface anti-ship missiles and or torpedoes and supported by combatant ships supported with missiles and torpedoes for such a function. Fast missile patrol boats or torpedoes are perfectly adequate for such functions. Its power has reached the oceans and waters between continents. To describe its strength can refer to the United States Navy. With such power, they can project the presence of their warships to all corners of the world. To regulate the operation and procurement of the Navy fleet, each country has a sea power projection that is tailored to its own needs and interests. However, in general there are three types of sea power projections that are known by many maritime countries, namely the Green Water Navy, Brown Water Navy, and Blue Water Navy. This division was first popularized by the United States Navy, which currently has mastered all three types of power. <laughs> 